I uh, graduated from Michigan State in 2002, uh, branched aviation, joined the Army, went to Fort Rucker, qualified as a uh, UH-60 Blackhawk pilot. Uh, following that, I went to Europe, to Germany for a few years and deployed to Iraq, came back, went to the uh, MI Captain's Career Course, the Intelligence Course, and soon after transitioned to uh, Korea. Um, while I was in Korea, I noticed a lot of uh, toxic leadership. I, I know the Army is a culture in which we kind of reward type A personalities, but there were certain individuals that took it to an extreme and just had short-term goals in mind. They didn't, uh, they didn't look at the overall plan because the way things happen in Korea, everything's short-term, one-year cycles, and it seemed like as soon as they came into command, they were gonna outdo the other person, short-term goals, and really had no vision of uh, the long-term or what's good for morale. One of the toxic leadership styles that I've noticed, or, or a way to recognize it, is if, if someone seems overly hard on their subordinates, throwing them under the bus, they take credit for successes, but don't uh, take credit for faults, errors, or mistakes. Although the signs are there, higher commanders are unwilling to uh, step in, recognize an individual as toxic to the Army, and do something about it. Like I said before, it usually takes a catalyst to prompt an investigation, and then they go back and say, well, we, we had all the signs that this guy was on the wrong path, but nobody steps in, um, especially in those units where the high attrition rate or, or the turnover is great due to op tempo. We tend to promote our problems away or, or uh, PCS our problems than to deal with them.